Hello everyone. I got all the inserts glued in. Just want to show you what they look like. Here's the underside of the ship. We'll start at the bottom and work our way around. Okay. There's this insert right here. Um, to me, the copper pipes do add a dimensionality to it that was missing. Because the plastic, they only did so much with that plastic. You'd had to have had separate pieces to do that with. Didn't do anything to that one. Didn't do anything to that one. I put that spiral in there and a couple other pieces, and I think that made that look better. I'm going to have to turn the ship over. Didn't do anything to that one. Then we end up with this one. I chewed that one up pretty bad getting her out of there. Did some work to clean her up with some sheet styrene and a few other pieces. Uh, I'm not so thrilled with the results of that, but I don't hate it either. It's kind of take it or leave it time. All right, that's the underside. Now we turn to the top. I didn't do anything to that one. You can see all the little copper bits I did in there to give it some depth. On the top half, didn't do anything there. Oops, I'm going to flip it, so let me go here. Gosh, not a lot of room here to turn this thing around with. I'm knocking things over. On this one, I only added the two pipes, which ended up being under the overhang. You also tell that I cut some of the notches out on these things when you take a look at them. So, rotating around this way. You can see the ones I did there. I think I showed those off earlier. I did a little bit in that one, and I didn't do any on the two on this end. So that's a trip around the inserts on the Falcon. All right. So up next, I need to put a replacement piece of plastic across around here because on the reference photos, these plates here, these thrust vector plates, they are separate but below them on the underside it's flat so I'm thinking about putting a flat piece of styrene all the way around there and then cutting those notches again in the flat piece of styrene should put the flat piece first so I gotta do that I also have to clean up the little spots where I gnawed these out gotta clean these holes up more too so I can put the engine vents in there all right, last thing I have to do on the holes before I get to interior parts is I need to thin these walls right here. They're far too thick compared to the actual model itself. That's some Dremel fun, and I'm going to wait for a nice day when I can go outside and do that so I don't get plastic dust all over my nice house. Or sit in the spray booth, which I can't really get to right now because I'm remodeling that room. All right, folks, that's just a quick update showing you where I'm at with her. She's getting there. I get the, the upper and lower hole done and get the cockpit done, it'll fly together from there. So I'll be back in a bit. Hello everyone, I'm working on the Millennium Falcon here and I'm dropping everything. Um, I'm starting to work on the external pipes. I'm not going to replace them all, there's just far too many of them to do that with. I'm just going to replace some of them because literally if I start trying to replace them all, I'm going to be here for a month. And I haven't got a month to do that with. I don't. So I'm just going to replace the ones that are going into or out of the cutouts. Simply because those are the ones that tend to look the worst on this model. Other ones, they just need a teeny bit of work here and there. And I'm going to try to do that with the scoring tool. Now, I've already moved part of this one pipe. Okay? And I did it fairly cleanly. I've removed this end of this pipe. The hole there is where the pipe started. That way I got a hole to put my brass rod in. I'm using brass for this, not copper, because I don't have copper in the proper diameter. But I've got plenty of brass in the proper diameter. The reason we're here is I want to show you how I'm bending these pipes, because I need to bend one exactly on the path I need it to go down. In order to do that, well, in order to accomplish that, I want to show you what I'm doing. Okay? And I want to do that before I completely remove the detail there because well that's not going to be any good if I remove all the detail without bending the pipe because I won't know where the pipe's going so my tools for this are a sharpie my brass the um, 
I'm saying because the jewelry pliers, the pliers made for working with the copper jewelry, don't work well with the brass. The brass just mars. It's too hard for these jaws to deal with. So I'm dealing with some pliers I have that have no grip on them. And yes, I'm using pliers with a grip, but the grip doesn't show that much on the piping. So first step I do is I take my brass rod and I lay it down. Where I want the bend, I mark it with the Sharpie. Because I want my brass rod running right to this point right here, so I'm marking with the Sharpie. I've already moved half of this pipe. There's various tools for that. I'll show you guys that once I get my technique down and what I'm doing. But you can tell from what I did here, I'm doing it pretty cleanly. But there's no real marks. I did leave one little tiny mark on it, but that's why I was experimenting with the technique. The new technique would just cleaned it right off. That didn't leave a mark. So I got my brass marked where I want the bend. And what I'm doing is I'm taking this and I'm lining it up right to the end of that bend, clamping her down, and just bending it. So now I have my brass rod. Now my problem is and you can see it right here I'm not getting my bend lined up just perfect it's off a teeny bit I'm bending it a little too much okay I can fix that with this one but the next bends I can't I can just take some nippers like this and trim the ends of them and now yeah I'm knocking all sorts of stuff over but that's fine now it still doesn't quite line up but it's really, really close. One more little teeny nip and it will be perfect. Okay? This ship's just kind of big and that's part of my issue. There, that lines up perfectly. So I'm now, now I'm taking Mr. Sharpie. Let me move this so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to mark the brass rod where that bend goes. So hopefully you guys can see that mark. Now that bend goes 90 degrees the other way. So I'm going to grab it with my toothless pliers like this. And we're going to bend it the other way. So now I'm going to check and that's spot on perfect. Okay? Now we're going to start this whole video segment over and we're going to move the camera because I know you guys aren't seeing this properly and I'm knocking too much stuff off my Hello face. everyone, I'm here to talk about the Millennium Falcon. Different camera angle tonight on a different tripod because I want to show you what I'm doing to make the uh, pipes. I'm working on the surface pipes and I'm pausing because I notice I'm looking at the view screen which is off to the side instead of the camera. Also, I'm surprised we don't have a guest appearance by Thunderpaws. He'll wander in a little bit. I know he does. He always does when I'm making videos. He'll probably crawl right up here in the middle of everything when I'm working. But anyhow, I'm going to move the camera so you guys can see exactly what I'm working on. All right? And I'm probably going to have to shift this thing around quite a bit to get it to line up where I want it to. Because this is just a very different camera angle than I'm used to. There we go. I'm working on replacing this pipe right here. Okay? It's I've already replaced I've already taken off part of it and I'll show that technique once I have that technique down the way I want it to be done. Um, I've tried various things and I came up with a way that works very well. The previous ways left marks on the surface. Okay? You can see some of these marks right in here. The hole there is for the replacement pipe so it can sit in the hole. I'm going to, have to drill that hole a little bit bigger. I need to get a slightly bigger drill bit. But there's the replacement pipe right there. Alright? Now, I'm working on bending out this pipe. Now I've already partially done it and I did it on camera earlier but the camera angle was so bad all you saw were my fingers. And you can see that is lining up just exactly with where that pipe ran. Okay? So I want to share my technique with you guys in case some of you ever decide to get into this. I take a Sharpie, and it's real simple. It doesn't require too many tools. I take a Sharpie. I mark where that bend has got to go. And you can see by looking at this brass wire, there's already Sharpie marks all over it. Okay? And the only real tool I'm using 
are these pliers. I got Harbor Freight Tools for like a buck fifty. They have zero grips on them. They're pretty smooth jawed. I have these pliers here, and I use these pliers with the copper. They don't work well with the brass. The brass is too hard for them. It just mars that nylon surface and just grooves the nylon surface. It did that for this one. It's bending curves. Okay? I don't know if you can see it on them, but they don't line up right anymore. There's kind of an up tilt to the end of this here where the brass bent it. The brass is too strong for these. Works wonderful with the copper, and I use it for all the, those for all the copper pipes. Camp for the brass, so I'm using these two. Yes, I know these needle nose pliers right here have grippers on them, which will mar the brass if you hold it too hard. But I don't use them that often. Okay, I digress. I got my mark done. Now, part of the tricky part here is knowing how to grab that mark. If I grab it too wrong, if I grab it wrong, it's my bend is going to be wrong, and brass is almost impossible to straighten. Not like that copper did in the previous video. This brass just kind of resists that. So I gotta make sure I grab it correctly, okay? And then once I've got it grabbed the way I want, and I make sure I'm gonna bend it the correct way, so I'm just double checking, because I don't wanna bend this incorrectly, because once it's bent, there's, again, I'm starting over from the beginning. And brass costs more than copper does for some reason. Okay, I got it held the way I want, and I just, oh, I, and I knew it was gonna do that, okay. My problem is the previous bend is where it wants to bend. It doesn't want to bend at this new spot. So this is going to require two different things to work it with. I'm going to have to hold it with these guys. And what I'm holding it with here is the needle nose pliers. Okay? And I'm going to have to get that bend the proper way again because everything gets twisted around on me. All right, now I'm holding it with the needle nose. They're smaller, and I bend it. And unfortunately, that one went a little nuts on me, but not too bad. Because if I line her up, she's going pretty close to where I want her to go. Close enough that a little tiny tweaking here and there. You don't want to do too much, because then you'll see bend marks in the brass, and it's no longer going to be straight. You can see I'm getting her to line up now. It's a little bit more tweaking here and there. And you can do all that by hand. You don't need to use the pliers for that little tweaking part. See, now she's lining up right. All right? Now, the original brass pipe went down and connected to this spot down here. So, the original plastic pipe. So, once I get out here, I need to bend it over this way and then down to get that brass pipe to line up the way I want it. So I'm going to mark her where she needs to bend. Again, I'm going to grab it with my little pliers. And I'm going to bend it over the way I want it to bend. So now my little brass rod, if I can get her lined up, she needs a little bit more tweaking. Which again, once you get the initial bend in there, you can tweak it with your hands. You don't need to use the pliers. Just get in that bend right where you want it's what the pliers are for. And I got her. Now I need to bend it down. And once I bend it down, I'll be able to cut it. And I'm going to cut it too long for a reason. So I want it to bend straight down right there. Okay? the lid on the sharpie so I don't get sharpie everywhere all right so I want that to bend straight down right there so I'm gonna get my pliers I'm gonna hold it I'm gonna hold it on the other side and we're gonna bend her straight down okay now obviously I can't show this to you on the model because she's far too long so I'm going to have to cut her where I think I need to cut her. And then I'm going to start doing some tweaking to get her lined up right. Okay, the piece has been cut. And as you can tell, she's a bit too long. And I did that downward bend incorrectly. Go figure. But that's okay. I bent it too far out. 
Now, I don't know if I can undo this without it looking bad. I'm going to try, though. I bet it won't look right when I undo it. I bet it's going to look bad. Because this is brass, not copper. It's harder. But I don't think I did too bad with straightening it. Just straightening it by hand. Okay? So I'm going to line it up again. And I'm, I'm going to know almost immediately what I did. Yeah, my Sharpie mark is off. My Sharpie mark is too far in. So I'm going to eyeball it this time. Ooh. A little hard for the fingers to bend it right there. Because we're too close to another bend. So there we go now. Just eyeballing it. It looks like it's good. It's still too long. Let me cut her short. I know I'm doing some of this off camera. And I'm not going to throw out these little brass bits because I'll use them. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, that's almost exactly where I want it. Nope, it's going to need some tweaking. Part of the problem also is the pipe is still existent. So I can't do any final tweaking until I get that done. But you can see, looking at it, it lines up pretty closely, and it's almost going exactly where I want it to. I remove the rest of that pipe. I should be able to just set her in there right where I want her. So let me do that, and I'll come back and show you how that ended up working. All right?